Uh, good evening to Secretary Ona. Good evening, Your Honor. And to the whole uh, DOH family. Uh, special greetings to our uh, colleague, uh, former Congressman Ray Aquino. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the good Secretary for uh, his uh, many, many help and support uh, to my constituents during his uh, years in uh, National Kidney and Transplant Institute. Marami po tayong natulungan nun at kami po'y uh, nagpapasalamat sa inyong nagawang serbisyo sa amin. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, nagpapasalamat din po ako sa buong DOH sa kanilang suporta sa mga programa sa aming probinsya, sa province of Bataan. And alam ko pong uh, uh, medyo pagod na po kayo dahil buong araw na kayo nandito. At meron pang uh, dalawa nating kasama magtatanong. So I will be very quick with my uh, questions. Uh, number one, I would like to know the policy of the department with regards to uh, uh, partnerships with uh, local government units. Well, that is, uh, as again, I um, explain, Your Honor, it is a policy that we would like to pursue. However, uh, yun nga also, I'd like also to emphasize that this public-private partnership does not mean privatization. And it's essentially <clears throat> attracting uh, private uh, participation in investment so that we'll be able to, <clears throat> to uh, uh, give the necessary services both in terms of direct health care as well as availability of uh, uh, equipment or facilities for our people. Uh, just to let uh, you know also that uh, this is based on the, a, uh, and I'm sure most of you are familiar with the built operate transfer law uh, that was passed uh, in the early 90s. And with all its various modifications and amendments, we would like to pursue that kind of strategy with, uh, with the private sector. And uh, also to uh, make it a point that, unfortunately, this is something that is relatively new to the Department of Health, and uh, we intend to make the necessary uh, seminars as well as uh, instructions, and uh, we hope that very soon we will have a course that will be, uh, that will be uh, given by AIM or maybe even by the Development Academy of the Philippines, so that uh, there is a clarification and a, uh, an absence of certain misperception of what PPP is all about. As a matter of fact, uh, we have had a number of uh, so-called PPP that has been initiated by some of our uh, big hospitals here, and they have and actually they are being uh, sort of investigated or having difficulty with COA because again of a lack of uh, maybe understanding and uh, I therefore see the need for setting up a template uh, wherein PPP can be implemented, Your Honor. Yes, understandably, Madam Chair, this is a new concept that we are exploring. So uh, our institutions might not be used to it yet, but I... I welcome the, this out-of-the-box innovation that is being done with the DOH, and I think we will go further in, uh, in uh, performing our services with this kind of uh, uh, policy and uh, actions uh, in the department. But let me zoom in, zoom in, Madam Chair, to the, our partnerships with the local government units. Uh, marami pong hospital na uh, a provincial hospital and national hospitals na nas, nasa mga regions and uh, the provinces. And I think a while ago, uh, one of our colleagues mentioned the partnership of DOH with the province of Bataan. So I would like to set the record straight, uh, Madam Chair, uh, Honorable Secretary. Ano ba talaga nangyari dito sa partnership? And has this partnership benefited the DOH and the province plus yung mga pinagsisilbihan nating mga constituency doon po sa probinsya ng Bataan. Uh, Your Honor, as a matter of fact, nga, uh, I'd like really to see how uh, and evaluate how this so-called start of this thing should be. And uh, for example, you mentioned your 
particular uh, interest in uh, our partnership with uh, Bataan uh, Provincial Hospital. Uh, I have discussed this with the governor and I hope that certain uh, there should be certain uh, guides that uh, we should look at targets that we may uh, also put in and see how we can uh, really make such a partnership uh, successful and not and be adopted not only in your province but in the other uh, parts of the country your honor thank you mr secretary for the record may may we know what uh, accomplishments has this partnership produced in the past uh, couple of years, uh, Mr. Secretary? Are you particularly uh, uh, interested with, uh, with uh, the partnership with uh, Bataan uh, Provincial Hospital? Yes, your Madam Chair, uh, Your Honor. I think it appears that uh, uh, there has been a, uh, a um, significant uh, Advan uh, to, uh, to be very candid with you, Your Honor, as a matter of fact, I even am thinking that this partnership be extended, be extended up or down to the district hospitals. And as I earlier mentioned, develop so-called clusters of health uh, facilities that could be run by either a sort of a board composed of the local as well as uh, part of the national uh, 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 or DOH uh, hospital, D I mean DOH uh, uh, management. In short, para bang magkakaroon tayo ng cluster of the regional hospital together with the corresponding provincial hospital and down to the district hospital. Yes, like what you mentioned earlier, Mr. Secretary. Yeah. Yeah, may we know, uh, do you have a list of uh, accomplishments and contributions of the province to this partnership that benefited our uh, people and benefited DOH since DOH did not have to spend for this and Bataan uh, uh, shouldered the expenses for these valuable programs and projects. For the record, Mr. Secretary. Uh, for the record, uh, I would like to, to uh, highlight, for example, we were able to increase manpower uh, from, uh, let's say, 200 contractual workers that were uh, uh, that were hired from the province. In terms of uh, equipment, uh, there was even a uh, ability to acquire a uh, what we call a FACO emulsification machine. That is a machine that is used for cataract operation. Uh, and specifically, uh, there was also a effort on newborn screening at the hospital level. Um, a blood program that was uh, initiated and drugs that were provided by the hospital during the first 24-hour admission to the hospital, especially if uh, with field health coverage and uh, no out-of-pocket uh, for field health member. Uh, except those who would, uh, who would uh, elect to occupy a semi-private or a private room. So in short, uh, the augmentation of the budget of the Pada of, uh, from the province of Bataan amounted to an uh, initial of 12.3 million pesos for PS and MOOE and a capital outlay of 50 million which uh, that was in 2008, increase in uh, 2009, and uh, just in o January to August of this year, the uh, PS and MOOE was increased to 35.6 million pesos, and for the capital outlay to a whopping 100 million pesos. So would the Secretary say that these are valuable and significant contributions from the province of Bataan? You are very correct, Your Honor. And uh, not to mention the three new buildings that are now standing in the Bataan General Hospital. And I think the, the good governor is inviting the Secretary one of these days to inaugurate uh, these buildings. Is also 
uh, brought about by the partnership between the DOH and the province of Batan? As a matter of fact, we would like uh, the Padaan experience to be one of the so-called pilot uh, provinces or model models, in addition to uh, La Union, it's a province, as well as uh, Bohol and, uh, and, Kagaya and uh, Bukidnon, Your Honor. Thank you, uh, Mr. Secretary. And I just want to set the record straight because uh, the committee might have, uh, or the department might have been given the wrong impression earlier about this very valuable partnership. And uh, for the record also, I'd like to say that this partnership has benefited a lot of our constituency in the province of Bataan. So I hope that this partnership will continue and would grow to the benefit of the department, the province, and the people that we serve. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. And once again, thank you very much, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Your Honor.